Midwest and Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Welcome back. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We are live here in Lorena. It's summer celebration time. Couldn't ask for a better day. Yeah, it's a little hot out here compared to yesterday's 80s. Today, we are in the 90s, but that's where we should be for this time of the year. Look at that beautiful sun sky we have here. In the Woodway area, our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker. That is Highway 84, all looking pretty good at this hour. And again, temperatures have been holding pretty steady uh, in the 90s here. As we take a quick peek at the conditions across our area, we are looking at skies that are sunny. Temperatures as they will pop up here. There we go, 95 degrees at this moment. Our heat index or our feels like temperature at 97. Our wind has been out of the north and northeast around eight miles per hour, so wind not looking too bad. Now, other temperatures across the region, we've got 93 in Temple. I can tell you it's about 94 right now in the Lorena area, so it's hot no matter how you look at it. 95 down in Colleen and Gatesville checks in right at 93 degrees. As we look at the heat index, that is basically what it feels like. It feels like 95 degrees in Hillsboro, 99 Hearn over toward the College Station area. Brenham also checks in right at 99 degrees. Heat advisory in effect, and this runs until early tomorrow morning. The only areas right now that are included in this, the Brazos Valley, and that's where we had that moisture yesterday. So a lot more humidity, a lot of heat down there, and that's why from Caldwell over toward the College Station area, looking at the heat advisory. But our satellite and radar, pretty quiet weather. We're on the tail end of that front, and so that front trying to spark off some showers and some isolated storms. It's to our south there, south of the Colleen area, south of uh, Austin, but it'll be in the area for the next couple of days, so that's why we've got to keep some rain chances in the Brazos Valley in the forecast. Now, as we look at our forecast, this is our future cast, 7 o'clock this evening. If you are headed out, we're looking pretty good. A few clouds, otherwise clear skies. We'll put this into motion, and what you're going to notice for the most part is that front just kind of hangs around, not doing too much here. By midnight, we're talking temperatures mid to upper 70s, and then by tomorrow morning, dropping into the 70s, just like what we had this morning. Throughout the morning tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. Again, pretty quiet weather for the most part. You notice some high clouds trying to move in here, and by the afternoon, high temperatures topping out. Look at this. We're climbing again, mid to upper 90s. A spotty shower here or there, possible there by late in the afternoon on Wednesday, but I'd say most of us don't see anything but the heat here in our area. And then there's that front kind of stalling out as a stationary front. So it looks like by early in the morning on Thursday, temperatures will be a little bit warmer, maybe mid to upper 70s. And as we go throughout the day on Thursday, this will be the focus here of some showers and some isolated storms, especially down toward Bryan and College Station. So here's the forecast then for tonight. Mostly clear skies, not looking bad. We dropped to 71. Wind out of the northeast at around four to eight miles per hour. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow. It's going to be maybe just a tad hotter than today for some of us. 96 degrees the high. And then here's the 10-day extended forecast brought to you by Tanner Roofing. We're going to keep those mid to upper 90s right on through the period. Slight chances of rain on Friday and Saturday, but don't cancel any of your plans. Next week, we're going to see those temperatures climb into the upper 90s to around 100 degrees and then down toward Bryan and College Station. The front's going to be a little bit closer, so that's why our rain chances are a little bit higher. Take a look here, and you'll notice for the most part, we are looking at high temperatures, low to mid 90s for highs, 30 to 40 percent chance of rain, maybe an isolated thunderstorm Friday and Saturday with lows in the 70s. We've got a whole bunch more of news coming your way. We'll be back here in just a few minutes.